Yeah. So I thought for the practice this evening to do uh, a practice that I learned over a decade ago, which has to do with looking at the the thought of I and the the thought of self, but looking at it from kind of a somatic inquiry viewpoint where um, when we get to that part of the practice, and I learned that as the Ashmita Maya Kosha or the sheath of I-ness, um, what I'll do is invite us to say our name inwardly, I am, and then, so I'd go, I am Kelly, and repeat that and really have the felt sense of that. And then drop the name and just I am and repeat that. And then drop the am and just I and repeat that. And and then just allow attention to kind of rest the heart and notice what happens if there's this kind of more, um, a deeper connection with the sense of I that's beyond um, that egoic kind of um, arising that can happen and then fuse on to the different contents of consciousness. But if we just rest with a sensation at the heart of the sense of I, it it's more, you could say in the, the Buddhist language that you'd be connecting with emptiness or formlessness and also kind of fullness and a sense of um, interbeing or being deeply interconnected with all of life. So I know that, you know, sometimes we can think that it's just kind of bad to have the I thought come up and attach onto everything. It's just a natural function. It's just an absolutely natural function and awareness. And so we'll just follow that natural function, notice how it operates, and then begin to follow it continuously back to the heart. And you can even start to feel in the practice. Um, when I was doing this, I would be walking down the street and then almost feel this little electrical impulse from the heart to come up. It's going to turn into a thought. And and then just, just with kind of precision and awareness, just to follow that all the way back, just let it, let it dissolve back into the heart and not need to come up as a thought and grab onto something. So we'll do those practices this evening and see how that is and see what happens. Because this is all a somatic inquiry, we get to make the discovery through the body in the present moment as we're doing it. And so there isn't a place I'm necessarily leading you to. It's more just how would it be to inquire with the I thought in this unique way and see what happens. And then, you know, we'll come back after the practice and see how that was. But I will do um, the full practice of Yoga Nidra, but then we're just going to bring this Ashmita Maya Kosha more into the foreground during this practice. So um, often I may mention, okay, notice a sense of I or self or that thought that comes up to grab on to the content of consciousness, or maybe I'll um, do some other sort of inquiry around, um, can you find your center or periphery that's kind of inviting an inquiry around the I thought that we um, sort of fuse with. And in this one, we'll, we'll just pull that whole piece out a little bit more in the practice and um, see what happens. So we'll still do, you know, the intentions and body and breath and welcoming emotions and thoughts and cognitions. And then we'll, we'll get into this after that. And um, what's nice is at the end of the Ashmita Maya Kosha, we go to the Ananda Maya Kosha, which is joy. So it's lovely after you've sort of explored with the I thought that then there's kind of a resting at the heart and um, this kind of uncaused joy that can follow nicely from having disidentified from um, this I thought. So lots of words, but uh, we'll see what happens in the inquiry. And so if there, if there are, are there any questions before we begin on this? Okay, lovely. So yeah, let's get right into the practice then this evening. And yeah, feel free to have your videos off if you like. And um, make yourself comfortable. 
So, so it's really a practice where you want to be in the kind of position that you can sustain for you know, a half hour, 45 minutes and feel like you're supported and, and restful. And if you, you do need to shift at any time, feel free to shift, but it's nice also to be in a comfortable position where you can, you can have the whole meditation um, in that position. So So let's begin. Just let yourself settle in. If you have a blanket or a bolster underneath your knees or you're adjusting the pillow, whatever it is, you may just be flat on the floor. Um, you don't need to have support underneath you, but whatever's most comfortable. And begin by noticing the flow of the breath in and out. It's like in meditation, you can come a thousand times back to the breath and it's new each time as an anchor point. Notice the texture and flow of the breath in and out. If you particularly notice it at your chest, your belly, or your nose. And then perhaps consider the breath as less of an object and more of a happening. It's like the body is being breathed. Letting go of conceptions, ideas about where the breath is coming from and going to, even though we do know how that all works. Just letting go of these ideas and conceptions and feeling the naturalness of breathing happening. As you do this, you may have more of a whole body, global felt sense, a body breathing itself or being breathed, the naturalness of the breath. And if your eyes aren't closed already, you can allow your eyes to gently close. And noticing, is there an intention for this practice? It may be to remain awake for the entire practice, just following the guidance. It may be the opposite of that, to get rest. to go with whatever comes. So setting that intention inwardly. Then welcome all of the senses into awareness. So if your eyelids are closed, sensing darkness or shadow, lightness, color, shapes across the eyelids. Still tuning in with the flow of the breath in and out. So you're following that in the background and then you're just aware of the senses, sight, sound, touch, the touch of air on the skin or the, the resting of your back, pull back side of your body onto the surface that's supporting you.
taste and smell. Welcoming the senses into awareness. Allowing them just to function naturally. So no need for grasping with the ears or the eyes to see or hear. It's like letting any uh, colors, shapes come to you, sounds come to you. The word in yoga for this is pratyahara, where it's withdrawal of the senses, returning the senses inward. Not being outward focused. Feeling the body breathing. Let's begin the practice with a sense of well-being. So is there any image or memory that comes to you that evokes a quality of well-being? It may be a moment in nature or with a loved one or pet. Something that evokes a feeling of equanimity, of well-being, of peacefulness, or things just as they are. It's all things are well in this moment. That kind of inner sense of, of wellness. So we'll tune in to that and see if you can embody the felt sense of this ease or well-being. And even if something isn't well or not right, we're still accessing the part of ourselves that does connect the feeling of well-being and of ease. So we're not leaving part of ourselves out by acknowledging and turning toward well-being. We're welcoming the wholeness of who we are. Take a moment to do that, just welcoming all that's here in your awareness, everything that you're bringing to this moment, where you've just come from, if you're feeling relaxed or frazzled or curious, whatever it is, just this deep welcoming is accompanying you on the meditation. And just know you can return to that sense at any time during the practice, should you like. Just as you can return to the breath as an anchor. Just so we'll, I'll guide through the practice, but just feel that you're in charge and exploring as what feels right for you. So you can allow my voice to be like an anchor in the background to your own exploration, or you can follow the guidance as I speak it. Start by welcoming the whole body into awareness. So the whole front side of your body. As you breathe in and out, can you allow the breath and attention to be focused on the whole front side of your body? Like it's there's a spotlight on the whole front side of you. And then focus on the whole backside of your body. Allow your breath and attention to be drawn to the entire backside of your body as you breathe in and out, just welcoming the body into awareness. Now the whole left side of the body, breath and attention focused on the whole left side of the body. It's as if you don't have a right side. Breathing in and out, sensing flows of energy and breath. 
left side of the body. Now bring attention to the whole right side of the body. So you may feel a slow lateral shift to the right side of the body with your attention. So breath and attention, the whole right side of the body. So now it's as if you don't have a left side. All of your attention somatically is absorbed in the right side of your body. I sense the whole body at once. So let go of thinking or trying or visualizing. Just let this come straight from the body, like a full body sense, whole global body sensation. You may feel um, a radiance of sensation globally. You may feel energy moving through the body in different ways. So if so, just allow these movements of energy to flow through the body, not trying to force anything or suppress anything. There may be a numbness or a tingling or just a sense of aliveness or being here. Whatever word comes to you inwardly to describe the felt sense of the whole body. So you may find the body drifting into liminal states, just into a deeper state of relaxation. So Shifting, kind of downshifting with body and mind as you go in and out of this liminal state. We'll systematically rotate attention through the body. So when I name a body part, noticing is there any tension here and feeling the the power of this mindfulness practice where if you attend to tension, it may spontaneously just release. So you kind of dive into the center of the tension, feel, and it may just open. And then you dive into the center of that, feel, and it may open and release. It may also contract further. So we don't have to do this a certain way. It doesn't have to look completely relaxed. But as you attend to any tension, it may just naturally relax and release because there's an unconscious holding. So consciously attending can release the unconscious holding. So let's begin with the jaw. Notice any sensations in the jaw. You may shift your jaw around a little bit. Notice all of the little muscles in your face around your jaw that are holding perhaps unconsciously. So if you find any of those little muscles, can you just bring that light of awareness to the tension and notice it may just spontaneously release or shift. Noticing the breathing, whether it's out of your mouth or nose, just following the breath in and out. Feeling your cheeks, your ears, both ears. 
So can you sense both ears simultaneously? You may have a visual image of your ears and then drop the image and just sense both ears. We'll make the same inquiry, sensing your eyes, your left eye and your right eye, and then sense both eyes simultaneously. It's amazing how much tension we can have behind and around the eyes. So can you just bit by bit notice all the different little muscles that may be grasping around the eyes? And can you invite them to release and relax? Letting go of even visualizing the eyes and simply feeling. Sing your forehead, crown of the head, and the back of the head. So bring your attention behind your eyes. Take an inhale, and then we'll exhale all the way back through the midline of the brain to the back of the head and then down to the back of the neck. And notice if there's any places where you can release tension, in particular in the muscles in the neck. shoulders, upper back. So as I name these body parts, let this spotlight of attention move to that part. Notice what you notice. Staying in touch with the breath. So breathing in and out, sensing your neck, shoulders, upper back. And let's sense all the way down the left arm. So perhaps with an inhale to the left shoulder, with an exhale, sweeping attention down the left arm into the palm of the left hand and the left fingertips. So now all of your attention is absorbed in your left arm and hand as if that's the only body part you have. Breathing in and out, sensing whatever you come upon. You may even squeeze and release your fist or your muscles in your arm. Bringing attention, so crossing the midline with an inhale, bring attention to the right shoulder and we'll, with an exhale, sweep energy and attention down the right arm to the palm of the right hand and the fingertips. And just notice all of the sensation as you breathe in and out in the right arm and the right hand. It's as if that's the only body part you have. Let's do both simultaneously. Inhaling and then exhale both arms, both hands, fingertips simultaneously. Notice there may be like a pulsing or a radiance of sensation. You may want to squeeze and release both fists or the muscles in both arms. Allow your attention now to move from the arms in toward your sides, your left side and the right side of your torso. And then continue just moving inward from both sides toward your center, the center line of your body, your torso. Feeling your whole chest, belly, back, sides. The breath as it lifts the belly or chest. Just 
sensing your heart with the breath. And then bring attention to your left hip and we'll sense the whole left leg. So inhaling and then exhale, sweep attention down your left leg to your left foot. Just bringing your presence and attention, being patient with this inquiry. Sensing your entire left leg, left foot. You may have the desire to squeeze a muscle in your left leg and then release it. If so, allow yourself to do that. And then bring attention to your right hip. Inhaling, exhaling, sweep energy and attention down your right leg to the sole of your right foot. You may squeeze and release any muscles in your right leg as you do this practice. And then sensing both legs simultaneously, both feet. Extend the exhalation as you sense your legs and your feet. Maybe squeezing and releasing muscles in both legs. Breathing in and out. Welcome the whole body into awareness. So however this presents itself to you, you may have an image of the body. There may be no image and it's just the pure felt sense of the whole body globally. There's no correct way to do this. Staying connected to the breath in and out. There may be a feeling of diffuseness or spaciousness as you consider the body, space around the body could even let go of the idea or concept of body and stay with the felt sense of just being. Notice how that is. As you're here, welcome any emotions that may be present or may have been present today or recently, including challenging ones, including supposed positive ones. So any joy, happiness, or sadness, disappointment, anger, the jumble of all of it, whatever's here, could you welcome any emotions that may be in kind of the field of who you are in this moment? Just gently welcoming them to be here, not needing to refuse or figure anything out. Just sensing and feeling this is part of me. And then can you allow these emotions to be so welcome in awareness? It just don't need to be refused or glommed onto. Just can absolutely be just as they are. What's the feeling of that like? Just to allow this deep allowance of any emotions that are present without having yourself or this I thought kind of grab onto it or fuse with it could you just allow the emotion just as it is to be 
What's that like? Noticing any sensations in the body as we're in this part of the practice. We have images that arise, so welcoming also the sheath of cognition, memories, images. Perhaps pictures of people or places or nature. Just any images that may be here, allowing them to kind of flash up and then fade away. Noting, are there any emotions that kind of go along with some of these images? Just non-judgmentally noticing what's present. Could it be so allowed to be as it is just in this moment? And thoughts can be trickier. There's notice. Are there any thoughts that are kind of sticky today or in this moment. I thought about me, who I am, or the world, or another person, or life. Just see before you any of these thoughts that may have been kind of sticky or really believed today or recently. If you Bring this kind attention to those thoughts as well, those beliefs, just this too, even this too, it's not bad, it's not wrong, it's something that's believed, but can we see through it, just see the transient nature of whatever thought, belief is here, acknowledging, validating, of course, but also seeing feeling this holding presence behind it and a deeper truth within it. Now letting that go, just be resting, perhaps with a quality of openness, spaciousness. There's already been, the whole body has been welcomed into awareness, breath, emotions, thoughts, memories, images. So while all of this is kind of coming and going, can you feel in tune with or at one with this spacious openness. It's almost like you can't find yourself anywhere within that. It may feel like a resting as a quality of being. And here we'll do the Ashmitamaya Kosha meditation where just resonate a sentence inwardly. So saying I am and then saying your name inwardly, feel the resonance of it at the heart and the body. I am and then your name. So repeat that a few times inwardly and just feel the impression or the resonance of that. And 
And then drop your name and repeat inwardly, I am, I am. Feeling the resonance of that, where you feel that in your body. There's not a correct way to do this, so we're just exploring. And then drop the M and just inwardly, I, I, I. Just notice where that lands in the body as a resonance, I. What would it be like to follow the trail of that vocalization, sub-vocalization, down and in toward the heart? As if the vocalization I just sort of dissolves in toward the heart. Noticing perhaps from the heart a, an arising of that sense of I or the thought of I. And if so, can you follow the thought up and then, if possible, let it not attach on to anything in your awareness and, and follow it back as sensation, back toward the heart, dissolving in the heart. As you breathe in and out, doing this practice of allowing the eye to dissolve and resolve into the heart. And this deeper understanding or connection with the bigger eye, this interconnection. Whatever's in your experience, welcome just as it is. Just notice perhaps in this resting at the heart, perhaps there's a, like a quality of love or deep interconnection. where everything is permeated with this sense of being. Maybe there's no location in space and time. It's just a, an open quality of being. It's kind of everywhere it wants. So interpenetrating, there's Nothing left out. You may experience this as a feeling of love or joy or other sensations that may be present. allowing this practice to kind of permeate through the beliefs that are held, the emotions that are here, any past traumas or just these different things that are held in the body, in the mind. Can you allow this deeper 
knowing of of love of the I thought kind of dissolving or resolving into the heart to be transposed into all the other layers of who you are. So you could rest with this practice where you just notice if there is that impulse that arises from the heart that would turn into the thought of I or grab onto an emotion or a belief. Watch it arise and then follow it gently back to the heart. So that you get this overall sense of resting as being and everything free to come and go just as it is without that I thought fusing with it notice there may be an inner feeling of freedom or spaciousness any other words that come to you Perhaps as you rest here, there's even some action to take in the world or something that you see in your life that there's a spontaneous response that doesn't have to come from a separate doer. So notice, are there any images or pictures of yourself acting, speaking, doing something that just come right from the spontaneity of who you are? What's it like to picture yourself doing that without fusion with a doer or a separate self? What's it like to picture that kind of authentic, spontaneous action or movement into the world, whatever it is, even if it's just moving, walking across a room or having a conversation? You feel the difference in the feeling tone of this after doing this part of the practice. So allow yourself to picture yourself, maybe even going through your evening in this way into toward bed and then sleep into your day tomorrow in this way. Let's just rest here for a few moments. So allowing attention to anchor to the breath or just a sense of being. like to hang out in meditation in this way body breathing letting go even further so behind the eyes can you release any tension that may have have happened again or anywhere else in the body can you invite a relaxation to the whole body maybe there's an anticipation of something can you release that anticipation of the next moment and just resting here breathing in and out nothing to do no one to be nowhere to go nothing to know
welcoming any of those thoughts or images or emotions that really just want to be bathed in the light of awareness. Letting go of figuring something out and sort of basking in this quality of being as you're with whatever it is that pops into awareness. You feel yourself held here, a feeling of support, holding. You feel so deeply held by the space around you. What's it like to release a little bit more, even more, letting body rest deeply into the surface that's supporting you? Notice any images that may come to you here, colors, shapes, sounds. Perhaps making a commitment to yourself. There may be something important to commit to whatever that is for you in this moment. Inviting in a feeling of this kind of effortless being moving you moment to moment to let that be enough. We'll close the meditation here, but feel free to stay and rest as long as you like. Whatever feel, feels right for you, so you may begin to gently move your hands and feet, fingers and toes. Maybe your knees come in towards your chest and you roll off to the side and then you, you remain there for some time, just breathing and being. Letting that effortlessness of the movement, so letting yourself be moved by the naturalness of the next moment. When it feels right, just coming back toward a seated position or staying in your meditation. Just maybe thanking yourself for doing the practice and for taking the time. And let yourself just return back as it feels right for you. Thank you for practicing uh, with me, with others, and for being here.